Hey Spreddy Gang, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a, a review on the Storm Collectibles 112 Action Series Mortal Kombat Scorpion figure. Um, if you didn't know, this is for age 17 plus. I'm not that, but um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I, I think if you're just, I don't know, I'd say 13 or over, you should be fine with this honestly anyone should be for the most part um just kind of need to be you know be a responsible um figure co collector i would say to own um figure um especially a premium figure like this i haven't gotten a premium figure in like a really really long time uh so this is really cool i got this from our for my birthday yesterday if those for who those that don't know it was my birthday yesterday so um, thank you to everyone that, um, you know, may be watching this that did tell me happy birthday. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, this is a really cool figure. Uh, I want the, I really want to get the Sub-Zero too. Uh, they are literally, they're the exact same. They just, obviously, different colors and a lot of different, or, yeah, a lot of different, uh, different accessories. So, yeah, I'm just really excited to review this guy. I, yesterday, I didn't want to review him. I just wanted to kind of play around with him and just kind of know how the figure works a bit more in hand and uh yeah I, I did that so I know a bit more about the figure now and uh yeah hopefully that can help out this review but anyways let's get right into it first thing I do want to talk about is locks uh looks like they used the Mortal Kombat 9 symbol sorry about the light um but yeah it's very nice I like it and then it's just got a nice little wraparound image of Scorpion right there says Mortal Kombat Scorpion right there. Same thing up top. Uh, then on the back, let's have a bunch of um, images for, or promo images for uh, uh, Scorpion here. And it's got, or it shows basically a bunch of his accessories and stuff. So um, yeah, if you would like to read this, you may pause it right now and read that uh, because I'm not going to take the time to read that right now. A uh, bunch of stuff right here, and a bunch of warning labels and all of that right over down there. Uh, but yeah, with all that, uh, we're going to do accessories, then details, and then articulation. And then we'll kind of do an overview and see what I rate the figure. So yeah, let's get into the accessories. Alright, so this figure comes with a lot of uh, different accessories. Comes with three extra pair of hands. Um, he comes with an extra mask. Comes with his uh, famous get over here kind of spear thing. I forgot what the exact name is. Uh, comes with an axe and three uh, blood squirting effects. So, uh, yeah, I'll just show you all the hands. Uh, for the first pair, it's like these kind of posing kind of hands. Sorry, let's focus on the background. Focus up here. Ah! Alright, so I just took a minute to get focused, sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, it has two, uh, like, kind of posing, fighting hands. Uh, you can see them a lot in, um, other games. He'll just kind of pose like this if he's looking like he's about to fight. So, it comes with those. By the way, the fit, uh, I'm pretty sure the hands are, like, a pretty soft rubber. So, yeah, oh, sorry, it just keeps not focusing. Maybe it's the box, I'll just move that real quick. Um, but, uh, sorry, I just want to focus that real quick, so, uh, yeah, he comes with those, the, f uh, hands are, like, a rubbery material, so, um, yeah, just felt like, uh, mentioning that, uh, he does p come with a pair of karate chopping hands, so, those are pretty cool, I know in Sub-Zero it comes with these exact hands, and they're meant for, um, a kind of, uh, accessory that it comes with, uh, maybe if I get that figure, I'll, explain more uh, with that and then he comes with two gripping hands for the axe or whatever you like him to hold maybe a, a skull or a, I don't know a spine or something uh, and then here are his uh, blood squirting effects which are very nicely done have some dark reds and such in there very cool um and th this one is, I'm pretty sure, for punching. That's what it showed on the back of the box. Um, so, yeah. And then this one, uh, these, here are these two. Uh, 
which are very nicely done. I like them a lot. You can put them at the ends of the axe, which I'll show you in a minute. And, or maybe just have them punching or something. So, yeah, there's a few kind of uses, possibly. Uh, or you can put it at the end of the spear, what, or spear thing, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, here's the extra mask, and I'll show how this looks on the figure when we get into, like, the details part. Um, but it's very nicely done. I like it. It's not accurate to, like, what he actually wore. I'm pretty sure this Mortal Kombat 3 look. Um, so I'm pretty sure he did not wear one like this, a skull mask. He did wear, like, some kind of other one. Uh, I forgot exactly. Uh, no, I know how it looks. I just, uh, it's kind of weird to explain. It's, like, a very simplistic looking, like, skull. It's like, almost like the Punisher logo kind of thing. Uh, here's the spear. It's very nicely done. Got this kind of zigzagish look, and, um, yeah, and then you can just plug it in here, which I guess I'll just show right now, or, or actually in a minute, and the silver on the end is also very nice. I like it a lot, and that rope detail is also very nice. So, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll show the mask and all that stuff in a minute, how that all goes on. Maybe I'll show that last or something, I don't know. And then here's the axe with a bunch of blood on it. Very cool looking. I really do like this. Uh, very pointy though, so watch out. These are not um, blunt ends at all. These are pretty sharp, so watch out. Um, I kind of poked myself on that uh, yesterday when I first got the figure out. But yeah, that's all the accessories. Um, I guess now we'll show like how some of the stuff goes on to the figure. So yeah, let's do that. Right, so what you're going to want to do is just simply take off the hand. They come off. Uh, easy enough, then you can put on, I don't know, let's say this hand, or, or well, don't put that on yet. Uh, then you're going to want to take the spear, put this on. It's kind of hard to put this on at the same time as uh, recording, but I'm trying my best here. Oh, that's the wrong hand. Uh, he Alright, here's the right one. You're just going to pop that on. Doesn't make a pop noise or anything, but... And these gauntlets are, um, movable, so you can maneuver it to make the punches and stuff work a bit better. But, um, here it is. And just kind of have it go like that or whatever. Really cool looking. So, yeah, I like that a lot. Pretty easy to put on. Uh, nothing here is too difficult. Everything keeps falling. Darn it. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, and then for the mask... Or, oh, I'll show the uh, punching thing here. Just let me put on the fist. Then right here, just take this. And you can just kind of put it on a certain way. Into the hand like that or something. And it uh, kind of fits on. So, yeah, you can just have them kind of punch in someone. I wonder if you can... No, nah, you really can't put that on the end. And then for the axe, uh, you can just kind of slide. I think they go in, yeah, like this. If he's impaling someone, that's gonna how it works. So, yeah, put it on like that. Or you can put it at the end of the spear here. If he's going in someone. So, yeah, looks very nice and it look really great on a figure, too. Uh, it does look good on the figure and uh, very nice on a shelf, I'd say. So, yeah, that's all the accessories. Uh, and, or, oh, one more thing. Sorry about this taking so long. Uh, you can just slide off the masks. And got kind of like a teeth thing there. Uh, but then putting on this one, it's really weird. I tried it out yesterday. It's like, it doesn't fit right, you know? And then it makes his face look really long. And I don't know. I mean, I see what they were going for. And if it fit better, maybe I'd use it a lot more. But I just kind of like the classic look, personally. I like the classic mask. Um, I see what they're going for and all that. But just maybe if they executed that a bit better, that would have been... Nice, and these do kind of slide off, so just be gentle with it. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for that. Uh, now looking at the details of the figure, uh, paint's done pretty decently, uh, for mine personally. Looking at the lines there, oh, can focus. Uh, just kind of the black bleeds onto the yellow there. Uh, it's not the biggest issue for me personally, I'm sure more people would get a bit crazy. Just like a tiny, tiny scuff. Not even really noticeable. Um, there's a scorpion butt right there. Uh, I <laughs> don't know why I said that. Uh, and then you kind of have a bunch of stitching lines on the head. Very nice. 
Uh, the skin is painted very well. It looks like he... I don't know. It just looks like very realistic skin. That's really cool. Um, as I said earlier, these can move around, by the way. So, uh, can line that up with a punch or whatever. Uh, paint here. I honestly didn't notice this on the Mortal Kombat 3 designs. I didn't know that this was here unless they just added this for whatever reason. Um, so, yeah. And then here, like, the shin, pet, or shin guards are kind of, like, off, which, um, is with everyone's figure. I don't know why exactly, but that's just how they did it. Which they molded that a bit better on the figure, but it's really fun. Uh, and then the paint is pretty nicely done here on the shin guards. So is it on here? A little bit of bleeding on there. If we can focus. Uh, so, yeah, a little, just a little bit of bleeding. Uh, and then the face is done really nicely, too. Got those white eyes. Uh, it looks very mean. It would be cool if we maybe got, like, a skull face with it. Like they did on the Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, they did a whole Mortal Kombat 1 ninjas line. So, uh, as well, if you want to go check those out. Those are a bit more hard to find. Uh, I find these Mortal Kombat 3 figures a bit easier to find on Mortal or BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, I guess that's where my sister got this for me. So, she's watching this. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> um... But I would, I know that the Sub-Zero is coming out of pre-order. It's coming out in June of this year, so why pre-order? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's all of that, and let's do the articulation now. Uh, the head can move. Uh, it's like also rubbery, this upper part. Uh, head moves down a decent amount, and can move not really up that much, I've... Try moving it up, but that's just about as far as it goes. Uh, he has this little head pivot here. Moves actually a lot. So there's a like a joint down here and a joint like down here too. So allows for a little bit of extra arm um, rotation. You got full movement right there. Uh, shoulders move up very far. Got a bicep swivel. Uh, double joint elbows move in farther than 90 degrees. Uh, got movement right here in a little hinge at the uh, right there, and if you can see, there's a butterfly joint, uh, which allows for motion outwards, and backwards, or I guess, uh, <laughs> and then he can move down a lot, uh, looks a bit weird for these, but, I mean, I don't know, I guess that's what maybe it'd look like in real life, and can move back that far, too, um, he has no movement, or, no, yeah, he has movement at the waist. Um, legs do kick out a bit far. This is just hindering it a little bit. Uh, and then they can go, uh, pretty far out, I guess. And then they can go back, uh, with this being a rubber piece, can go back pretty far, uh, which is nice. No bicep swivel, sadly, but do they do have double joint knees, uh, that move back very far. Uh, no, uh, movement below the knee, uh, but they do have movement right here, moves that far back, moves pretty far forward, and you have a little toe pivot, which I don't see on figures that often. Um, so, yeah, overall, I would say, oh, uh, one more thing I'd like to mention, this is definitely bulk, uh, much bulkier compared to the Mortal Kombat 1 figures that they released. Uh, I don't mind, you know, I mean, it, I think it personally looks a bit more... Uh, like it did in the game. I'm pretty sure they looked pretty bulky there and it matches up and I personally just don't really mind it Thing looks nice uh, Overall, I would rate this figure a 9 out of 10 I'd say maybe if they just made that mask fit a bit better and then maybe a little bit like better paint job uh, I think this figure would be at easily 10 out of 10. This is a first premium figure You're definitely getting your mother uh, your money's worth uh, I'm pretty sure it's about $69, so with tax and stuff, that's like $72 or $74, so. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good figure. I would definitely recommend it. Um, uh, I, I just would, I don't know, kind of work your way with it, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to really say here, but um, it is definitely a bit pricier, so you'd probably have to, or you'd 100% have to save up for this guy, but. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Sorry if it um, was a bit sloppy. I'm trying to do my best here. Haven't done a video in a minute. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one, Spidey Gang. Peace.